What is up, everybody? Welcome back to another Pitching Ninja's Filthiest Pitches of the Day. Remember, before we get to those pitches, start your 4th of July off right and never miss the pitching fireworks. Hit subscribe, join Ninja Nation, and without further ado, here are my filthiest pitches of the day. I'm going to start with Brady Singer, who had nine strikeouts in four and two-thirds innings, thanks to this filth. When he's on, his mix of two seamers and sliders is fun to watch. Shane Boz had seven strikeouts in six innings, giving up only one run, and had nasty sliders and curveballs. Boz's ERA this year, 2.92. And he's definitely on the path to being one of the best young pitchers in the game. Carlos Carrasco had eight strikeouts in five innings and gave up only one run. Tyler Wells had seven strikeouts in six innings and gave up only one run, lowering his ERA this year to 3.09. Pablo Lopez had this changeup that ran 21 inches. Speaking of changeups, Lucas Giolito had seven strikeouts in his first seven outs this game, using mostly his changeup. And amazingly, after getting seven strikeouts in his first seven outs, he didn't get another strikeout for the rest of the game. But he did throw six innings, giving up only one run and three hits. Zach Wheeler had overpowering stuff. His fastball touched 99, and his slider was even 92 miles an hour. A little Jacob deGrom-like. And here's a side-by-side -side of Wheeler and deGrom, and you can see how similar their mechanics are. I talked to Wheeler about this last year. I was there forever with him. I watched him, watched all of his bullpens, watched him warm up before games because that's what our starting pitchers did. And I think it definitely helped. Brandon Woodruff had eight strikeouts and six scoreless, running his fastball up to 98 miles an hour and had these sick changeups. Framber Valdez had 13 strikeouts and six innings, giving up only three hits. And look at these filthy curveballs. Opponents are only slugging 221 off that curveball, and it has a 38.6% whiff rate. Valdez's ERA this year is now 2.67. Robbie Ray had 12 strikeouts in six and two-thirds innings, giving up only one run. The man has been lights out ever since adding a two-seamer back to his arsenal. Here's an overlay that shows you just how his two-seamer and slider work together. And you can see why adding that back made his slider more effective. It also gives hitters one more thing to look out for because Ray had been relying mostly on his four-seam fastball and slider. Clayton Kershaw had eight strikeouts in seven scoreless innings. And here are a couple of overlays of his fastball and slider, and you can see how well those pitches tunnel. He also had this absolutely gorgeous Cooperstown curveball. A pitch doesn't get any prettier than that. Speaking of curveballs, Tristan McKenzie had his beautiful curveball working and ran up seven strikeouts in seven scoreless innings, giving up only one hit. He outdueled Jordan Montgomery, who had eight strikeouts in five innings. Luis Castillo had six Ks in seven innings, thanks to his fastball and this slider getting the sword. But my filthiest starting pitcher yesterday was Charlie Morton. Charlie Morton put on an absolute curveball clinic for the Braves, racking up 10 Ks in seven innings, giving up only one hit. This curveball was 3,297 RPMs. That is insane. And here's another one that was 3,245 RPMs. Even though he's 38 years old, Morton has the highest spin rate on curveballs among major league starting pitchers. And he's more than just a curveball. Here's a curveball overlaid with a 96 mile an hour fastball. And here's a two seamer that ran 19 inches. Disgusting stuff by Charlie F. and Morton. My filthiest minor league pitcher from yesterday? That'd be Jacob DeGrom of the St. Lucie Mets. DeGrom had his 100 mile an hour fastball, his wicked sliders, and got all five of his outs via the strikeout. I may not be a professional scout, but I think this guy has the tools to be an excellent major league pitcher someday. Imagine being a minor leaguer trying to make it and having to face this stuff. Although you'll always have those stories that pass down to your grandkids about how you got blown away by Jacob deGrom. Now onto my filthiest relievers. John Schreiber had this 96 mile an hour fastball plus a K yell. I love the emotion. Jake Diekman 
had these 98 mile an hour fastballs and wicked sliders. Josh Hader had this vicious back foot slider. Eli Morgan had these Bugs Bunny changeups. And last and certainly not least, Devin Williams had these insane airbenders. I love these ISO looks at the movement of those pitches. These are changeups with 27 to 2900 RPMs. You can see why it's one of the filthiest changeups of all time. And now, my pitching ninja moment of zen. Is that Clayton Kershaw leading the wave at Dodger Stadium? What's up, Ninja Nation? My pick of the day is for Ty Walker to have seven strikeouts or more. Here's the current line. Walker's had nine and ten strikeouts in two of his last four outings, and I expect Ty Walker to be Ty Striker outer today. What would your pick of the day be?